In the summer of 1946, the U.S. tested nuclear weapons on Bikini Atoll Operation Crossroads, with a total of two explosions, surface and underwater. The purpose of this operation was to study the effects of nuclear weapons on various ships, military equipment, and submarines. Several people from the USSR were invited to be present at the tests, journalists, scientist M. Meshuryakov and NKVD Colonel S. Salazandrov. No data on the nuclear explosion's damaging factors was transmitted to the Soviet Union. Operation Crossroads had a dual purpose, on the one hand, to study new weapons, on the other hand, it was a hint to the USSR about who was the dominant power in the, in the world. Having mastered nuclear technology, Soviet scientists and the military began to look for new ways to use existing and prospective superpower weapons. The possibility of using nuclear charges together with various carriers was considered. Soon there was a proposal to create a special torpedo equipped with a special charge compartment and capable of engaging entire enemy ship formations on its own. The first domestic design of such a weapon, brought to testing and operation, was designated T-5. Since the late 1940s Soviet commanders had been considering special torpedoes equipped with nuclear warheads. Such weapons could be used by submarines to simultaneously engage several ships of the same order or to attack large coastal objects. Different variants of such torpedoes with different dimensions and load capacity were proposed and under development. After the USSR possessed its own nuclear weapons in 1949 the question arose about the creation of its own shield to protect the ships against nuclear weapons. It became necessary to conduct nuclear testing at sea. The post-war shipbuilding program of the USSR adopted in 1945 did not yet take into account the methods of anti-nuclear protection. The question of conducting the test became even more acute. The Semipalatinsk Testing Ground, training ground number two of the Ministry of Defense of the USSR, available at that time was not suitable for such a purpose. Was needed another polygon, the choice fell on Novaya Zemlya because of its remoteness from human settlements and sparsely populated. As a consequence, in the fall of 1953 the development of a new nuclear torpedo, the size of which does not differ from the serial products. The design of such weapons was carried out by several organizations. The main developer responsible for the creation of the torpedo itself and the overall coordination of the work was NII-400, now the Central Research Institute Jidrapriber, and A. M. Barushko was appointed chief designer. The task of creating special combat equipment was assigned to KB-11 under the Ministry of Medium Machine Building headed by U. As suppliers of certain units, some other organizations were involved in the project. The project of prospective torpedo with a nuclear warhead was given the working designation T-5, it was also spelled T-V. In addition, according to the existing nomenclature of the mine torpedoes armament product was designated as 53 to 58. Special combat equipment for the torpedo, which was developed as part of a separate project, had its own name RDS-9. The detonation area was chosen in the Bay of Kyornea Bay due to its poor water exchange with the Barents Sea, which prevented the release of large amounts of radioactivity into the sea. On July 31, 1954 the Council of Ministers of USSR issued a decree on establishing a testing ground on Novaya Zemlya. It was named Spetstroy 700, later renamed Object 700. The Novaya Zemlya test site was built in approximately one year. The construction of the test site for the first underwater nuclear explosion cost 135 million rubles, which is roughly equivalent to 13.5 billion Russian rubles today. The final decree of the Council of Ministers of the USSR for the first test on Novaya Zemlya was adopted on August 25, 1955. The purpose of the test was to study the underwater nuclear explosion on ships and submarines, on various military equipment, to determine the defeat of coastal objects and to study the physics of the underwater explosion. Various cinematic, photographic and measuring equipment was installed on the ships. 
The predicted explosion power was to range from 1.3 to 11 kT, such a variation spoke of the unstable operation of the RDS charge in the torpedo. The torpedo was assembled in the workshop of the building located on the coast of Rogachev Bay, and then escorted in the hold of a trawler with Navy ships to the place of detonation. The torpedo was lowered into the water from the trawler in a vertical position, to a depth of 12 m, approximate torpedo stroke, using special winches. The torpedo was suspended under the minesweeper until it exploded. The target ships were at 6 radii, from 300 to 3000 m. The ships were positioned side by side and bowed to the center of the explosion, the submarines were in an underwater position and at periscope depth. There were 100 dogs involved in the tests, of which 75 were on the target ships and 25 on the shore facilities. On the eve of the tests, when everything was ready and all personnel had already been removed from the target ships, the weather deteriorated sharply over the test area. Dense fog appeared, predicted to last a long time. Conducting the test in foggy weather meant losing valuable optical observations. But on September 20, when nothing foretold the weather would improve, the head of the weather service, Colonel N. P. Belyakov, gave a forecast that tomorrow, September 21, there would be a window in the fog. In the early morning of September 21, it seemed that the forecast would not come true when a report came from the airfield in Rogachev that the fog was leaving. The command was given to start the tests. The charge was detonated by radio signal of automatic detonation from the ship EMBA at 8 o'clock in the morning of September 21, 1955. The explosion occurred in an area that was 55 to 60 m deep. The kinematic characteristics of the explosion power was determined with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.3 kT total, the exact TNT equivalent is equal to 3.5 kilotons. Six dogs sank in the compartments of the ships, only 11 dogs developed radiation sickness of 1 in 2 degree, their dose exceeded 80 Rentgen. In one dog the dose was close to 300 X-rays, the animal got radiation sickness of 3 degree. The other dogs were unharmed. With a TNT equivalent of about 3.5 kT, the radius of the sinking was 300 to 400 m, sunk one ship except the minesweeper. Damage to light surface ships from the shock wave at a distance of 500 to 600 m. Damage to light superstructures of ships from the air shock wave at a distance of 700 m. Minor damage at a distance of 12001300 mobile. The test results showed that the ships are most vulnerable when they are close to each other. With the right anti-nuclear order, at the maximum distance from each other, more than one ship cannot be sunk by a torpedo. After the tests, the construction of the ships continued according to the corrected designs, taking into account the anti-nuclear protection. By the way, they wanted to test T5 on Kola Peninsula, Murmansk region, near Nokiev Peninsula that is 130 kilometers eastward from Murmansk. But Navy Commander N.G. Kuznetsov rejected this idea of a one-time test, saying, one test will not do, and the Kola land must be protected. Look for it. The torpedo was also tested on Novaya Zemlya in 1957, with an energy yield of 10 kilotons. Three ships sank then. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Write in the comments about what else interesting you can tell about this video. See you in the new video.